This time we are going to upgrade the e-snowmobile. Now all is going to be just perfect. We will test its working time and how it can go off-roads. It's going to be a real ordeal. We will squeeze out its powers. Last time the rear wheel wasn't really acceptable. It wasn't a nice idea to use the timing belt. We are lucky that it isn't hard to remove. If you remember, we couldn't pull a tire on the wheel. So, we found a wheel casing from Honda Dio scooter and we will attach it somehow to the motor wheel. And then we will put a very spiky tire on it. These are 250 really sharp screws. It's going to kill the road. 70. We've decided to cut the wheel into two parts. I'm cutting off the extra part. It's going to be very sturdy. I hope this tire will still suit. There will be some welding dots on the borders, so it won't split apart. But the main fixing power to keep it all together will be provided by these planks. They're going to be welded to all parts of the wheel and they will make the construction safe and strong. The rims won't be damaged and it will become a kind of monolithic. I need to make it carefully. Let's make the first dot right here. That's a hell of a wheel now. Okay, let's try the wheel on. Let's see. It isn't just hmm though. The tire may just maybe... We can draw backwards. Right, and weld some bolts to the edges. Right there, and tighten the lugs here. Why so slow? There are the magnets inside. I think we can clean it up during the day. Now we are making a hole for the tire using a step drill bit. It's kinda too low. But what if I make it like this? That's perfect. Let's add some screws to that ominous tire. And we need to add some rubber to keep the tire safe, I think. The only thing rest is to put it on the massive welded rims of the motor wheel. They stab. That isn't pleasant. You can see that the tire doesn't want to merge. Damn it. And there we are in a tire shop. And even the experienced tire masters can help us. And we had to bend the rims a little. There it goes, push it, come on! That is the second wheel chamber, and we must pull them both. Proper stuff. Hey, that's enough! It's already 0.8 of the minimum pressure. That's a bomb. The very classic beauty. Here comes the main part, the welding. It is too close to the wing. And I guess we welded the wing hard, right? Oh well. There we are. That is proper. We have to fix the absorbers better. The wheel must be pushed hard to the ground, welding the wing back. And there it is! Let's ride it! Da, 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 da. That's a super bibica! Alright, let's see what this e-snowmobile can do now! 
I'm sitting already. Starting. Ready. Let's ride. Yeah. It goes so awesomely. It speeds up as fast as hell. It takes two seconds to reach the crazy full speed. Let's try some off-road. It's like a tank. Okay, backwards. Where are you going? Did you see this? It just goes and... I think that was too much. Oh yeah, never mind about the branches anymore. It goes so easily. And the reverse gear is just perfect. I can't tell you how I feel, I'm too excited right now. This time the spikes are attached very nicely, there isn't a single spike broken here. And if I go on a stone occasionally, the spike bends and then come right again, because of the rubber inside. And now the absorbers work perfectly. I mean the wheels are being pushed down perfectly, and the ski doesn't rise up anymore. They're always on the ground and this makes the snowmobile super stable. Let's try this beast. Here we go. How was that? I'm okay, thank you. This snowmobile makes 30 km easily, but I think its maximum is about 40 km per hour. I guess I can squeeze out 42 km per hour. Mind that it has 48 minimum voltage. What if we give it 100 volts power? I guess it will make 100 km per hour. It will become a snowmobile rocket. It will give out 80 km, I think. What do you think? Will it be dangerous to increase the power? It will be okay. It always makes sense to increase the power. Let's have some drift. As you see, it can polish the road very nicely and the Turk is damn mad. Now we're going fishing. To the place where it's impossible to reach in food. Or using any other kind of transport unlike this. Because it's complete off road there. Let's ride. I have never felt so much comfort going along these paths. My e-snowmobile just goes along these wild dry herbs, crushes them and I enjoy all this. The locals told us not to go this road, that's too hard and wild boars can attack us. Don't go there, they said. But I do know that it's all come here and we can ride easily. The path is over and the off-road begins. Let's see how it will cope with the ball rush. <laughs> It overcomes it, it goes forward! Hey, just me, driving among the balrush grass! And I have to stand because the grass is too high. These spikes literally tear the balrush apart. It goes so nicely on the snow, it's extremely powerful and has a perfect traction, my friends. It goes forward even if it's too much grass all over the road. Hey, take a look at the wheel! Here we go! It dug a trench. This happened because the ground is very close to the surface here. I mean earth is near below. Given the fact that the snowmobile is tiny, it is really comfortable to ride along the animal spots. I think there are beavers somewhere. At first I thought that this one was cut down by a fisherman. But these are the traces of beaver's teeth. Fancy that, he had to eat it all. Hmm, the snow is new and there are no traces on it. The beavers might leave this place because last time we were too noisy. Or they could find a cow somewhere. There was someone diving. A beaver. One hand driving. It's moving so gorgeously. You see how fast it accelerates. And it isn't the full speed yet. The power is consumed very slowly, as you can see. The test has shown that the power is enough to cover a few dozens of kilometers. The lamp was torn off. Look at the traces, that is like a mini tractor. It's a little separate right now. Not a big deal. It was torn off with the grass, I think. Not surprising. I have found a shelter over there. 
Someone has built a house, but it isn't a tree house, because it's on the ground. A kind of a nomad tent. Let's see what's inside. Why it is even here? It is a bed. Some empty bottles around. Why? What is it for? So many bottles, it must be a drunky house. It is a way warmer in here, there is no wind. A cap. Some old jeans. Right what to think about this house, guys. Why on earth this house was built? I was running along and look here. There is another house. And a chair is here. What people do there, honestly? Is it a secret cottage zone? Oh my, this one looks real nice. There is so many chairs inside. Who builds that? Why this house is on the ground, not on trees? That is why a snowmobile is a good thing. We can go to very distant places where I've never been. The battery works awesomely. I've covered more than 30 kilometers already. It's 50 volts. This means that the half of the battery is spent already. It shows 50 just standing. But when it goes, it shows 49 and etc. The voltage is being spent. No slope is a problem now. This snowmobile showed itself very reliable. It has shown great result of roads and on roads too. And next time we will try to assemble a super ATV. This ATV will be able to go through the fields, mud, the roads, but also it will go on water. This is going to be cool, don't miss it. Friends, don't forget to support us on Patreon and big thanks to you all!